What you got? Got a snake right here. How you catch him? What you do? Patrol. You trolling? Yep. I trolled the pink uh, uh, squirrel tail. Pink. All right. All right. We're gonna check him out. Welcome to Addition to the Wild. Salt water and fresh water fishing. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Les. And just to the wild, what's up, y'all? What's up? What we're gonna discuss today is about spec trout fishing, some type of um, technique and all that. But this is right here, what I'm teaching everybody. It's kind of like the cheap way right here because it's with the um, lure you're using, um, the the grub bait, and all that. So that's what I'm um, show y'all. So. Pay attention real good though if you want to go and catch you some specs out there, you know what I'm saying? So this is what it's about. Okay. Now, the thing you need to use, type of jig head use, it's a quarter ounce jig head. Quarter ounce jig head is all around jig head. I like because, you know what I'm saying, it's not too heavy or not too light. So that's the reason why I lose use a, <clears throat> a quarter ounce jig head. Quarter jig head is real good. Now, if you gotta bulk it up to an ounce, it's good though. But that's if it depends how the water is. If the water's like really going and all that stuff though, and you want to go towards the bottom, use a quarter ounce jig head and all that stuff. So that's real good about using a um a quarter ounce jig head. Now, um, what type of grub you use now? The grubs I like to use are the pink and green. Pink and green, I don't know why. The specs like they love that color. That pink and green color, they love it. Now, this is the one's called the Gotcha. The Gotcha Tournament Quality uh, Lures right here. This is the green one, if you just see right this is the green one, and right here is the pink one. And these are the one I use right here. Now, this big ass pack, man, this pack right here is like four dollars something. That's it. You can't go in, they give you a lot of this stuff though. I don't know how many they give you in here though, but man, it, it, it's a it's it's a lot of here, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of um um grubs in here and all that stuff though now. Now, um now there's certain ways, man, to I like putting it on. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Now, what I do is this, okay? This is the jig head now. The jig head right here, I mainly use the white jig head too, right? Like this though. And sometimes I like to use the green one. The green one's real good too, because you know what I'm saying? Got that bright ass green on there and stuff though. But the white one is real good too. Now, when you put it on though, you put it on through like this. If you just see, I sit there, Put it through that middle part right there. So go all the way down. So you got to push it on down, and then go just about right here. Now, now you got to push this back part. This is right here to catch the grub for the grub to come off. So you know, and you ever see that that thing like tore up right here? I'll use a different uh, uh, screwy tail because the reason why I want to keep it on it keep the, the skirt keep falling off. Now you see how exposed that hook is? How good that hook is? See, this is how exposed that hook is. Number one, you don't want to get it too far back here because if you hit the tail all the time and when you get caught up on that tail, you're going to be upset because it can't do what it want to do and all that stuff too. The other part, if, if you get the, the, the grub is too big or whatever, if the hook is not exposed out right there, what happens is when they make that bite, they can't get a lot, can't get part of the hook because the hook basically there to cover the hook up and all that stuff. So then it, it's hard for the um, they'll hook them on their mouth. So this is the way y'all should be having it done right here. If you uh, have it on there and stuff, though, this is the best way, effective way, if you want to catch you some specs. So that's one of the ways you want to uh, uh, put it on. So get you some grub if you want some spec and all that stuff, though, because this is a good way to do it, too. So um, there you go. Now, now, the other part now I have, though, is what type of line. People are like, what kind of line or whatever I want to use or what, what, what kind of pole and all that stuff, though. Now, the pole, though, it's like, you know what I'm saying, you have a light, a light medium action. You know, I, I tell them, like, what, what you got to have is a light tackle. That's the best. Light tackle everywhere. Light tackle, like, the most you, you could put on that, go ahead and put on this 15-pound, 15 15-pound 15 line. That's just real good and all that stuff, though. You don't need no real heavy line. You're not 
fishing for no big old shark or none of that, you know, stuff on there. So don't get too crazy on there. It gives you a light tackle. Light tackle, I love light tackle and all that stuff. It's really good. You use uh, light tackle now. Now, a lot of people ask, though, about the lead. Now, the lead is optional to you if you want to use the lead or you can put it straight off the line because this time I put it off the line, I catch them. Lead is good, too, though. I use lead on my, some of my old, older videos. If you look at my older videos, I still caught them and all that stuff, though. But it's, it's, it's good if you want to use a lead line, though. At the same time, though, you don't need no heavy stuff on there and stuff, though, man. Just keep it simple, stupid. That's all I say. <laughs> and that'd be the um, uh, uh, best way to do that, too. Now, some of y'all probably out there ask me, though, like, ah, when should I come out there and fish and catch it? When I come from, you know, if you live anywhere where it's a um, beach or whatever, you run by tide, high tide, low tide, and some of y'all people out there don't know about ties. Go on my site. I did a thing about ties. Uh, 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 I forget it's called saltwater ties. I think saltwater ties. I believe they have the tie tables on that, and it shows you the tie table. You know uh, when a tie run from high to low tie, and every tie changes about every six hours. So every six hours go up, six hours go back down. So you got to know the tie. Now. The best way how I will fish uh, 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 specs though is like when the tide getting ready to just come in. If you be out there when the tide just get ready to come in, man, you set up a part right there, uh, a certain area, you, and you think they might be at and all that stuff though. Certain areas, I'm explaining that to you though. But four hours, four hours coming in and four hours coming out, tide was the best because the, the uh, fish are coming in, the trout is coming in and trying to find a spot where they're gonna go to. So if you be there before they get there. Hey, you set up ready for them. Now, you got to be there. You know what I'm saying? The fish are not going to wait on you to get there. You got to be there and meet them. And that's what you got too. Same vice versa as when it's, when it's when, when the tide going low, they have to leave out of them creeks. They have to leave out of them certain areas. They have to leave to go right back out and get to them, uh, them um, channels. So if you be there at the same time, like I said, they ain't trying to meet you. You got to meet them. You got to be ready for them. So when they coming out, you go ahead and bang them, go ahead and smash on them and all that stuff. So that's the one thing you have to think about now. The areas, the best area to fish though. Now, to me, the areas I saw the best way to fish for these specs is like, especially like creeks. I like, I love creeks. Creeks, they're called creeks marsh, whatever you want to call them. Creeks go back there and all that stuff. And what you do is you set off the creek though. You might come come in and then it's a part you coming into a, a main creek coming in there though. So all I do is sometimes I set right in front of it though because the only way they get through that creek is they gotta pass me. They gotta pass me before they get back in the creek. So I got a, a fair advantage to catch them before they go, get back up in the creeks. And it's the same vice versa though. They have to when they go in there, they have to leave out of that, out of that creek to get back out, right? So. That's one of the other ways I do it too. I love the creeks of Mars. That's the you know saying where they hang at and all that stuff. The next part where they have to hang at is the um, jetties and rocks. Jetties and rocks. They stay near them jetties and rocks and all that stuff too. Now, now, now the jig heads and these uh, uh, twisty tails. On the reason why I like those too, there too, because you know where. But if you if you get caught on the rocks. It's not like you spend a lot of uh, money, like when you, you lose them um, lures, though, like mirror lures and other lures stuff. That could be another video I'm explaining to y'all about those um, different lures you use. You just can't use any lures. There's certain lures you gotta use, and I'm gonna put a video out about that too. You gotta see how we use it, though, but they're gonna be on a different day, so we're gonna hold off on that, though. But, um, like I said, though, the jetties and the rocks is a good uh, way to fish, too, right there, stuff. You just got to know what you're doing and all that stuff, though, especially get up on the rocks, though, because they'll they be right by the rocks and all that stuff, though. So uh, uh, just be waiting, though. Now, the other way to fish for it now, for uh, all these method too, is when you throw out, you want to throw towards the current. Now, if the current's coming this way right here, you want to throw this way. You see, the current coming this way, you throw this way. So what happened is when you throw this way right here, then the jig head just keep going straight on down. But you still really need a little bit to come down this way, though. Basically, when that when you, when your lure kind of like be in front of you, coming down past you just a little bit, you should be reeling all the way in towards you. What happened is is it's moving. The fish is the fish is down this way. This is the fish, and this is this is this is the fish right here, and this is the jig head. So when it's coming on down right here, they are looking this way because all the food is coming that way towards the current so they sitting right there so as soon as they see it they grab it boom they grab it right there that's what you want to do you don't want to fish this way you people might say i'll call fish that way but you if you want to catch more fish 
you need to fish the other way. Yeah, you might catch a fish right here, a fish you know, by accident or whatever, hooked them or whatever, some bull stuff going on though. But if you want to be a better fisherman, if you want to catch fish like I catch fish, this is how you got to catch fish though. You got to you know, throw it into the current. Like I said, this is the fish and let it go straight on down. When it's coming straight down, you really then, the fish, what happened is, he's just, he's waiting for his food coming down. He sees food coming down and what he gonna do, he gonna go right there and while you really in a little bit, he go back there, he grab it. He grab it and guess what? Get ready to have fun because he got to bang you and take some drags out, out drag out, out of your um your spoon. And uh, to me that's the best way. If you wanna fit for them specs and really that way I just tell you that's almost any fishing though if you lose using lures and stuff though. That's the best way to do it if you want to be a better fisherman out there. So I'm just letting you know, so you about to take that tip. I'm telling you, and just to the wow, yeah, I'm telling you. Now, um, now the other thing is the water temperature. Water temperature to play a big thing for specs to me, man. A lot of the uh, uh, um, specs love cold water. They love cold water. Cold water is they thing, you know what I'm saying? To me is, if you fish between like 58 degrees to 55 degrees water temperature, man, that's pretty good right there, man, because they love when it's cold, you know what I'm saying? When it's cold and they just school up, they just school up and everything. When they school up, man, it's 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 like a thing, man. It's like if you fish it for if you ever fish for spots or something like that, that's how they they just get as soon as you throw it out, boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's crazy, you know. And see North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? Our thing is though, you wouldn't allow keeping like four of them, four four specks. And all that stuff though, and uh, the size is 14 inches. Every state is different, so you make sure <clears throat> what state you in. You check the laws on there because you don't want to pay no big fine and all that stuff though. Even though some will be fat, like on our video, we got some like some 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 size to it though. But they was like 13 to quarter, 13 and a half. You know, what I'm saying almost there. Man, do the right thing, man. Throw the fish back, man, because you don't want no like a 200 dollar fifty fine and all that stuff, man. It don't work for you. We go ahead and go to the store and go buy you some though. But that's how real it get though because it been time I've been checked when I uh, uh, left. And came back to the uh, the boat ramp. They right there waiting, posted up, looking in the cooler and all that. So just 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 take my uh, uh, um my advice about that, and um you know do right on there because you don't want to get a fat ticket. So you know, but um I think I right there I cover everything on that though. But this this like I said this way is for the you know, spec fishing, the cheap way though using using the um the jig head, squirrely tail and all that stuff though. And um like I told you. Make sure you pick up these right here, the pink one or the green one right here. You get them at Walmart. Walmart attend sometimes don't have the green ones though. You know they got the lighter green. I don't like the lighter. It's a lighter green than this. You know what I'm saying? It's like a uh, a neon green type though, man. Get the, the the good green like this. This is what you want right here. And it's pink too, man. You know what I'm saying? These these are good, man. For some reason, I like they they love it. They bang it and all that stuff though. I got a video out there, and you see me doing all this stuff though right here. So check me out. I'm not on them people like they come out making videos and oh use this and you don't see them catch no fish no nut, man. I'm straight real with it. You can check me out how how we have actually catching these fish and all that stuff though. You know I got much love for the fishing. You know saying all the people out there who been following me. Hey, thanks a lot. Y'all been around with me and all that stuff though. Y'all been you know been there for me and supporting my show and all that so much love to my fans out there yeah keep on fishing all that stuff you got any questions out there and i said let me know man i'm gonna go ahead and start doing videos about how to fish and all that and put your name out there do something new and all that stuff give back to my fans out there been supporting me though all right this is your boy les i'm out of here peace out boom